What's up you guys, it's Steve here and you are not gonna believe some of the things that I have got to share with you today. This is nuts with stimulus packages, stimulus checks, federal unemployment extensions happening in other countries as there are lockdowns happening around the world right now as Omicron is the worst that we have experienced with the pandemic. Also, you will not believe what's happening right now with Build Back Better. Senator Joe Manchin is saying he's concerned about inflation and debt. Well, you will not believe. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Who is trying to persuade him? We have spiritual forces pushing for more stimulus, you guys. This is your stimulus check update and your Build Back Better update. Now also, we're going to be diving right in, but just wanted to remind you guys that the new channel is going to be launching here very soon, Steve Ram Finance. If you're interested in growing wealth, personal finance, this is going to be the channel for you. I'm going to pin a comment down below, click the link, go subscribe. First video is going to be launching and I'm going to be sharing with you advice that I received years ago from a multimillionaire when I started my journey to financial freedom. And he told me, I'm going to teach you the secret of becoming rich. I'm going to tell you three things you need to focus on. And if you focus on them, you will also become financially free. And I listened to him, did everything he told me to do, and it actually worked, you guys. So <laughs> that is going to be the first video. I hope it blesses a lot of people that I know are really going through it financially right now. But you guys, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date here on economic news. Shoot me any questions you got on Instagram at steveram3. And with that being said, you guys, let's take a look at some of these articles. Now, yesterday I shared with you the news that's been coming out in the past 48 hours that there are new stimulus checks that could be coming very soon. Right now, Congress is talking about legislation for another stimulus package to support businesses. And I share with you that it's unclear at this time if a new round of spending will be included for stimulus checks for the American people. The focus is businesses, but it is not off the table. This is just the first phase, and they actually have bipartisan support for this, Republicans and Democrats, to get on board to pass more stimulus. And they said, we're gonna be starting with restaurants but we are prepared to expand if we can have the necessary support. So they're saying if they can get all Democrats on board through reconciliation or they can get bipartisan support, they're willing to expand into other areas. Now, I will let you know what they say, but you guys, we have seen this in the past. Phase three of the stimulus packages was the CARES Act that had that first stimulus check. There were two prior phases, the stimulus provisions that went out to other things. We could see something similar here like this. Now, I will keep you up to date. It's all gonna be contingent upon the Omicron spread. And take a look at what's happening right now, you guys. As of yesterday, 727,000 new cases in the United States alone. The spread is absolutely crazy. Seven-day moving average is over 600,000 per day. And this is not just the United States that is considering more stimulus and is being impacted by the pandemic. Take a look at this, you guys. Germany is seeking to dodge a full-out lockdown with reasonable measures. Germany is on the brink of doing another lockdown, but China has already locked down, you guys, and so has the Philippines. As the wave of the Omicron is surging with new cases all across the Philippines, they've locked down, and also Omicron forces remote communities to lock down and bans insiders to Canada as well. And take a look at this, you guys. New stimulus provisions and packages and checks happening in Canada right now. Canada expands pandemic relief programs amid Omicron surge. Now, the article says that Canada will temporarily expand economic support programs, eligibility among another wave of shutdowns fueled by the Omicron variant. And you guys, they're sending out expanded unemployment benefits. Now listen to this, wage and rent support will be offered to all workers and employers affected by the pandemic capacity restrictions. We will be there to support for the areas that are needed, said the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Wednesday. Now jumping down, it says last week, Parliament passed a new Canada worker lockdown benefit, a program that grants $300 weekly to Canadians who are unable to work because of the pandemic shutdowns. $300 per week for those that are unable to work. Sounds similar? That is what we had before in the United States. Now what we're here is if we start having lockdowns or more issues with the Omicron variant and there's more restrictions, we might see more stimulus provisions as we're seeing right now with the consideration of this business stimulus package happening in the United States. Now, right now, a lot of people are saying, how are you going to pass another package when you can't get done with the current one? As I reported to you yesterday, that since Congress has been back in session, there has been a ton of issues in the Senate. As we heard, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, President Joe Biden, Pramila Jayapal, head of the the Progressive Caucus in the House of Representatives all say we're making progress and when we reopen Congress and the Senate this week, 
we are going to hit the ground running and get Build Back Better done. Well, we had Joe Manchin come out and say, uh, no, we're not. Nobody has talked to me since last month when I said that I was a no on the bill and we have made no progress. And I shared with you yesterday, is the Build Back Better Act dead or is it just drifting? We're not really sure right now, but you guys, they are trying to persuade Joe Manchin and take a look at this. Kentucky witches are called upon to curse Senator Joe Manchin over his refusal to support Biden's spending bill, you guys. Now, this actually happened last month, but we're hearing that the witches are casting curses upon Joe Manchin to try to persuade him to pass through legislation. Man, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. When I saw this, I sent it to a friend and he said, you know things are bad when the witches are saying we need more stimulus. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. Also, Barack Obama, former president of the United States, and Oprah Winfrey have personally called Senator Joe Manchin to urge him to support the Senate filibuster reform reports say. Now, and he's not on board with that either, and they're having ever, uh, celebrities and former presidents call upon him saying, listen, you need to get on board. And it's just because of the way that the Senate is currently structured, 50 Democrats and 50 Republicans, those senators are in very powerful positions. They literally need every single one to pass through legislation through the process of reconciliation. So right now, Senator Joe Manchin holding out, he is in a very incredibly powerful position in Congress, you guys, and they are trying to get everybody to persuade him to pass it through, even through curses. And you guys, Manchin, here is his issue, okay? Manchin thinks that the child tax credit is too generous, but Republicans are responsible for that. They're saying that they're the ones that actually set up a lot of the provisions for the child tax credit. But you guys, he is concerned about adding this into the bill and causing more debt and inflation, as right now inflation is at a 40-year high. The cost of gas, of goods, of services is going up at an incredible rate, and he's saying we're just gonna fuel the fire if we pass more stimulus provisions, especially, he's saying, if they're not needed. Needed. Now, here is Manchin's concerns. I'm going to jump down in this article and just give you directly what it is that they're saying. Manchin's concerns. For Manchin, however, the package's current $1.75 trillion price tag is still too high, even though the Democrats have already pared it back significantly. As you know, progressives had originally wanted this to be $10 trillion, $7 trillion, $6 trillion. We heard Bernie Sanders, AOC, Elizabeth Warren, a lot of progressives saying, we want to have monthly reoccurring checks. We want to have unemployment extensions. AOC was pushing for that even after they pared it back saying people need expanded unemployment benefits. They removed all of those from this package, cut it down to $3 trillion. Then they've cut it down to $1.75 and now they're possibly going to have to cut this down even further to get Joe Manchin on board. Now, the child tax credit portion would cost $185 billion of this bill according to the CBO. And now we're hearing this is likely going to be a provision that is going to get modified if Joe Manchin has his way. But the West Virginia senator is also concerned Concerned that the enhanced payments would be extended again because they'd be too popular to axe. Making the provision permanent would cost about $1.6 trillion over the cost of 10 years, according to the CBO. And they said the entire bill might add $4 or $5 trillion over the course of 10 years. And this is exactly Joe Manchin's concern with the way that inflation and debt is taking place. And we've actually heard progressives vocalize this uh, openly. They said what we want to do is introduce this provision with a one-year extension. And we believe it'll be very popular. People will like it. And they'll want to extend it on and continue it. But what he's saying is, yes, you're introducing a $185 billion price tag, so it's not so bad for one year, but if you extend it out and you know it's gonna get extended, it's gonna be significantly more expensive and add a lot to the debt and inflation. And we're hearing from the CBO, it could be adding about 1.6 trillion to our nation's debt over the course of the next 10 years. Now, while Biden and Democratic leaders in the Senate are still hoping to move forward with the package, it could be very difficult for them to reduce the price tag by excluding higher income families from receiving the tax credit. That would go against what we had heard from President Joe Biden, who pledged not to raise taxes on Americans earning less than 400000 annually. So if they modify this, there could be negative tax impacts, and it would be going against the word of Joe Biden. Now, we will see because this might be the only way to get Joe Manchin on board to pass this through. What do you think? Go ahead and do it, or just ax the bill altogether. I've heard a lot of people say, just get rid of Build Back Better, move on to the next package, and get something with checks and unemployment 
employment extensions. Now, lowering the threshold could also create other problems. Elaine Mage, principal researcher, associate of the Irving Brooken Tax Policy Center, wrote in a blog post. Among it, it could reduce political support for the credit since it makes the benefit look more like a government assistance program. And it could also lessen the support of high cost states where incomes are much greater. It is hard to argue that Congress should continue to provide child tax credit benefits to parents making 400000 she wrote, who suggested raising tax rates on higher income Americans might be a solution instead. But lawmakers should think carefully about how low to set the new eligibility threshold and consider all the potential consequences of reducing it. So if you reduce it, the president is not going to be keeping his word on saying that those making 400000 or less won't be hit by taxes. Also, who is going to be getting cut out of this? Who are the people that need it the most? Uh, they said, take this carefully into consideration. And you guys, if the Build Back Better bill passes through, it is very likely this child tax credit is going to have to be modified significantly. And I will keep you up to date here on the channel. So a lot going on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Wow, uh, there's just so much happening right now, you guys. I will keep you up to date on everything that's unfolding. Uh, and, and as always, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just takes a second, really helps me out a ton if you appreciate the content. Thank you so much. Also, consider joining that second channel. I'm gonna be launching here very soon, that first video on the Steve Ram Finance channel. I'll pin a comment down below. Also, if you want to stay up to date on economic news here, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. Shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me again. I will catch you in the next video. Have a blessed Friday. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.